The international airport that is in Ekurileni is uh, the gateway to Africa. It's not just an airport that takes us to other parts of our country, but it links us uh, with Africa, but it's also a gateway from other African countries to Europe and other uh, uh, continents. It is well located for both uh, cargo as well as for the movement of passengers. We believe that uh, in line with international standards, it, it gives a good opportunity for economic development because of its location, but it can also create job opportunities and uh, it can be the best site for trade both uh, for the country as well as uh, for us trading with international communities. We already have uh, a, a certificate, an industrial development zone certificate that has been issued to the Gauteng provincial government by the central government. We are now through the Ekuruleni uh, Metropolitan Council are working with Professor Kasada on the roadmap of, uh, of, uh, of the Eretropolis. We have already uh, identified other key role players that are beginning to to come into the area of uh, the international airport and through that work we're quite certain that uh, as we work uh, on, on the roadmap together with Professor Kasada there are other elements that uh, can be under implementation even before the roadmap has been completed. We've given ourselves uh, uh, the time frame uh, of uh, not more than six months from now that we'll be having the roadmap. We will then take that plan to central government. By the end of June this year, we would have set up a special purpose vehicle that would be an independent body whose responsibility will be for the implementation, a project management uh, unit for the implementation of an aerotropolis that will include the state-owned enterprises, that will include the Metropolitan Council, that will include the provincial government as well as central government, as well as the the airports company of South Africa, which is one of the critical role players in the development of the Aerotropolis. Part of what we would have to deal with uh, are the concerns that come with uh, the development of such a, a, a process, because uh, we need to ensure that uh, we create opportunities for those that are disadvantaged. We make sure that beneficiation also accommodates uh, women, youth, uh, people living with disability, as well as the majority of South Africans, uh, blacks in particular, so that they can also participate in this. The other issue that may actually be a challenge that we'll have to deal with are the uh, economic opportunities for neighboring uh, regions of the province. That in as much as we'll be developing the aerotropolis, we must not neglect the development of other parts of the city region. Part of what we want to ensure is the promotion of uh, entrepreneurship, through the development of the Aerotropolis, the transfer of skills and knowledge by those who are going to come into, into, into the development of the Aerotropolis to, to the ones that are disadvantaged. And the other important thing is to make sure that uh, those that are going to have uh, opportunities of running business in the Aerotropolis, it must not only be the elite, it must not only be white people, it must not also be people who are coming from outside of South Africa, South Africans, blacks, women, youth, and people with disability must also benefit. And we must make sure that the jobs we create are sustainable jobs, not only jobs for the construction, but there must be jobs also beyond uh, the development of the Aerotropolis. South Africa has got a good history of hosting international events. Uh, we've just come out of uh, hosting the most successful uh, Soccer World Cup, and we're quite sure that learning from those best practices, we are going to to make the world appreciate what uh, South Africans are best known of, being the good hosts, but most importantly also creating opportunities for our own people to be part of uh, the international communities in terms of understanding the role of uh, Aerotropolis in the economic development of any country.